going to look at how to fuse data from different matrices into a single file. Um, and I'm supposing we're starting with two different files here that I've highlighted, one that's got 28S sequences and one that's got uh, more 28S sequences. And here's what they look like within Mesquite. Here's the one, there's taxa A, B, and C, and here there's taxon D. And we basically just want to move it so that we have taxon D now with this matrix uh, and its sequence. Now, it would be nice if we could just do something like grab it here and drag it across there, but that isn't possible yet in Mesquite. Um, and so we're going to do it at the file level. And uh, one of the easy ways to do this is to uh, save the file as a FASTA file because there's a special way to import FASTA files where we just take the file here, so this is the same D file saved as FASTA, and we just drag it over top of the matrix window. and Mesquite notices it and says, oh, what sort of um, sequence is this? Uh, and it'll give you a couple of options. So those are the ones that it can input. You say, OK, and it puts it in and it adds it in. So that's one way to do it. There's another way to do it, though. Uh, and I'm just going to start again. I'm just going to say goodbye. And we're just going to uh, uh, start this up again, uh, get back to this file. And another way to do it is with a special function called merge taxon taxa and matrices from file. And it's right here under the taxa and trees menu. And it gives you a little bit of instructions. Uh, and what it does is that it basically gives you the option to open up a file. So we're going to open this one. It has to be a Nexus file. And then it says, hey, I've just found a block of taxa, um, in that case containing just D. Uh, what am I supposed to do? We're going to fuse it with the selected block of taxa. We don't want a new block of taxa. We want to fuse it. And it says, oh, there's a file being coming in. There's a matrix called 28S. What do you want to do with it? And in this case, we're going to fuse it with the existing one. In another example, we're not going to do it that way. Uh, and here we have it. And we look. And we can look to see what's happened. And indeed, it's gotten fused in. OK, so that's another way to do it. But now I'm going to give you a puzzle, which is what if what we want to do is not add to an existing matrix, but we want to add a new matrix uh, to this set of taxa. So we've actually got now um, A, B, and C have, instead of 28S sequences, they have CO1 sequences, and here are the two files. Uh, and there are two ways to do it. If you have the set of taxa being exactly the same, same names and so, so forth, uh, in the one make file here, A, B, and C, and in the other file, A, B, and C. Uh, and if that's the case, then I'm going to close this, and I'm going to use either include or link. Um, and uh, the difference is, is that link keeps the other file as a separate file. Uh, include just pull sucks in its information. It leaves the other file on disk, but now that information is incorporated into the single file. So we're going to do that. And uh, uh, we're going to say this is the one we want. And Mesquite's going to open it up. And it says, hey, I think that these two taxa blocks, the one in the new fi the file that we're reading in and the old one, look the same. Do you want to delete the second block? And if you delete the second block, it'll basically be reading in all of the matrices and information as if it belonged to the block of taxa that were already in your main file. And so in fact, we want to delete it because now it pulls it in and we look to see what we've got. And indeed, we've got the two matrices now. Uh, uh, here is uh, the one, co one, and here's the 28S. So we've succeeded in getting them both under, and they're listed as the same set of taxa. Now, that's all fine and good. Um, uh, we, can, we can do the same thing using that merge tax and matrices as well. But what if, uh, so that'll also work, but what if we have two where the list of taxa aren't quite the same? So here we've got one that's A, B, and C. That's our 28S matrix. And here we've got another CO1 that's A, B, and D. If we try to use the include file, what's going to happen is Mesquite's going to think these are two separate blocks of tax. It's not even going to realize they're the same thing. It'll give you a warning if it thinks that there's a lot of them that look the same, and it wonders if you uh, might have intended it to be the same block of taxa. But basically, over here on this side of the matrix, on this side of the window, it'll show two different sets of taxa, each of which has respective character matrices attached to them, but they won't play in the same sandbox. They won't, uh, they won't uh, be able to communicate well with each other. So what we need to do here is do the fancier way to pull this information in, and that's what the merge taxa and matrices into file, because this tries to pay attention to the fact that you're merging and you're looking for new taxa and so forth. So I'm going to close this and do this and we'll see what happens. So we go merge tax and matrices from file. It gives us a little instruction again. 
Uh, and now here it is that we're going to do. And we're going to fuse with the selected taxa block. And now it notices, hey, you know what? There's some taxa that look like they're the same. And it's just warning you that just in case you hadn't expected it. Normally you have expected it, so we just go OK. And now it says, ah, there's a matrix called Co1. What do you want to do with it? In this case, we don't want to fuse those sequence data with 28S. I'll show you something different about that, because that'll just overwrite what was there before. And of course, it's not 28S, it's Co1. Instead, we want to add the Co1 as a new matrix. And so now it's going to think a little bit. It's pulling it in, and it ends up with now two matrices. And if we look at either one of them, we see, in fact, Here's 28S, it has the A, B, and C that we had before. Here's uh, uh, Co1 that has A, B, and D, and it doesn't have the C. So we successfully blended them in. That's all great. But here's another uh, uh, last case that I'm going to show you. Um, what if we have some inconsistency in names? So we've got our 28S here, and we've got another file here, which has pretty much the same set of taxa, except it just so happens, for whatever silly reason, we named this one by a slightly different name. Mesquite's not going to know that you intended it to be the same as the B over here, um, but I'll show how you can get around that. So we're going to go back to here, merge taxa and matrices from file. We're going to do the same thing, and we're going to say we want this one. Uh, and we are going to fuse the taxa blocks, and this one coming in is Co1. Uh, it is duplicated, we expected that, so we're not going to fuse, we're going to add as a new matrix, and everything looks fine, except you may anticipate that what you're going to end up seeing is that there are four taxa there, because it's going to say, oh, oh, look at this. It thought that this was a new one, but you intended it to be, um, you intended it to be uh, the same one as this, and under Co1, in fact, uh, 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 this is the way it looks. So one way to get around this is to uh, merge the taxa themselves. And so I'm going to show it to you in a, in a slightly different way. We're going to look at the list of taxa, and we're going to ask for Mesquite to show us under the columns here whether taxon has data for 28S and whether taxon has data for Co1. And it's just to remind us what we're seeing. And what we'd like to do is basically, oh, you'll notice the color here got automatically changed to some weird color, which we will change in a future version of Mesquite. I'm just going to do it as red, because this is, in fact, the one that came in that should have been the same as that. But if we select these two, and then we go under List, and we go under Tax on Utilities, we see Merge Taxa, which what it does, it's sort of just wanting to make sure you want to do this. It's going to pull these two together, and it's going to unite their names, and the data uh, matrices will be pulled together like this. And just in case there are weird things going on, it gives you some options. And there you go. Now we've got this taxon that's put the two names together. You can edit it now, and we'll just call it B. But you'll notice what it's done is, is that it's pulled things together like this. So now that one has the single taxon has data in both 28S and Co1. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, if there had been data under both of those in one of these, there would have been a little warning given and strange things might have happened.